Alright guys, what is going on? It's Chris with 605 Brew Reviews. have a few guests here today. Uh, we have Jesse, we have Tyler. What's going on guys? Not too much. Just ready to drink some beer. Yeah. Ready to drink some beer? You? <laughs> I'm ready to drink some beer. Well guys, uh, tonight we have something kind of interesting going on. Um, we have Kyle here as well. He's off camera at the moment. We will bring him in here shortly. Uh, but what he's doing is he's currently pouring for a blind uh, taste test comparison between Founders uh, Canadian Breakfast Stout and also Founders Kentucky, is it Kentucky Breakfast or Kentucky Brunch? I think it's Breakfast. breakfast it? Kentucky yeah. Breakfast Stout. Uh, so, I mean, I would like to think that this is going to be easy <laughs> to tell because one has maple and one does not. Uh, they're both bourbon barrel aged imperial stouts with coffee um, and just really good beers. I mean, I've had CBS one time at an event, um, really liked it. I have KBS pretty much every year. It's a beer that I look forward to almost every year. Any thoughts on this? Well, CBS is only released every three years, so um, the last one would have been 2014, 13? I believe it was actually 2015. 2015. I've been doing it every other year for the past. Because there's a 13, 15, now 17. Oh, uh, yeah. Maybe so. they changed it up. But Tyler? No, no comments on it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we'll bring these glasses out shortly, guys. We'll show you both beers, uh, let you know kind of what we're smelling, tasting, uh, give you our final verdict on Founders. Canadian Breakfast Stout and Founders Kentucky Breakfast Stout. Here we go. So just a quick little blurb on the appearance of both of these beers, guys. Uh, both pitch black, uh, not much carbonation, as you'd expect with a big Imperial Stout. Uh, and I guess without further ado, we'll go ahead and get into the aroma on both of these beers, guys. I think for my, whatever the right one is, I definitely get much more coffee. Yeah, I do, right. And a little bit more booziness. I definitely get brighter coffee here too. Um, Easy. And I do, I do think that's a CBS. To me, I do get the maple out of it. On the left. On the left. Yeah. yeah. You know though, it's hard because I thought it would be like instantly detectable, and it is. Other than like a subtle sweetness, I don't get a ton of difference. I guess. I feel like my my assumption is I do smell maple in this and it also the aroma is a lot like more even keel whereas I feel like this is a much harsher aroma. How about you guys over there? I get the same thing. I get a lot more booziness out of my right. I, I know which one is which so I withhold all opinions. <laughs> <laughs> All right, should we get into the taste, the flavor of Founders CBS versus Founders KBS? Which one first? Right, right. Right glass first. Right. All right, cheers, cheers. guys. Big coffee on that one. Coffee, whiskey, a little bit of like a dark fruit. What do you guys get? I get the coffee is definitely yeah, after coffee. Mm -hmm. And it is, it's quite boozy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of whiskey there. You're right. I wouldn't say it's like astringent though, but it is pretty, pretty hot. Just a nice warming alcohol mm -hmm. though. Yeah. Left glass. Cheers. Cheers. And actually, I can already smell a difference after tasting that one now. Mm -hmm. it, it becomes a lot clearer when you grab the second one. Oh, yeah. It, the smoothness, like even just the mouthfeel, 
Yeah, like right. it's not definitely doesn't have as hard of an edge as the what I'm assuming is the KDS. <laughs> and you could definitely easily taste the maple. I get a huge maple sweetness, kind of mm -hmm. syrupy tinge to it. Like this has the booziness from the bourbon, but this has more of the flavor from the bourbon. I feel yeah. like yeah, like it, it doesn't necessarily taste alcoholic. Mm -hmm. um, Gives you the flavor without the punch, we'll say. Yeah. Are we ready? I think we're right. <laughs> Alright guys, so we're guessing uh, right glass, KBS, KBS left glass, Canadian breakfast stout. Is that right? Alright. <laughs> we don't suck. I feel better about this. I feel better about this. So um, They're both like in their own rights, great beers. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know. Um, I wouldn't have a problem picking one or the other if I saw it on there. I do have the But I, I guess <laughs> they're good in their own way. If you're more into the coffee, I'd say stick to the KBS. Yeah. If you want just a nice, smooth, easy drinking beer, even for what, 13 for the CBS? I think it's 11.7 11. 11. 11. this year. 11. We were just talking about that. Even for 11.7, I mean, that goes down super smooth and super easy. Like, I'm curious um, what the, uh, like, is there, aside from the, they're both aged, obviously, because they're uh, bourbon barrel, but, like, but are these aged actually, like, bulk aged longer versus the KBS? Like, if you were to take yeah. a 16 KBS yeah. and we were to do this side by side, is it still going to have the punch that has now fresh? It was, would be my curiosity, hmm. you know, because the coffee is right there. Yeah. And I feel like that make that's the biggest distinguishing part is, and the booziness. Mm -hmm. So that's going to kind of mellow. Yeah. Uh, but maybe just having the maple in it alone is what kind of it's cuts them up. down. You know. <laughs> All right, guys. So final thoughts on these beers. Um, I figured I'd put the stats in now. Uh, we didn't do that at the beginning on purpose because we didn't want to influence our uh, decision making on these. So first, uh, Founders KBS. It comes in these 12 ounce bottles. This is 2017. And it is, is there an ABV on here? Left side. 11.8%. Uh, this particular one was bottled in February. And then Canadian Breakfast Stout, supposedly the same base beer, uh, the difference being that it's aged in bourbon barrels that held maple syrup uh, and then put into those bourbon barrels versus just going straight into a wet bourbon barrel. Uh, this one is 11.7% and again it is a 2017, no bottle date though that I can see but just came out Friday. So. Uh, I guess we'll go into final ratings here, guys. What is your thought on 2017 KBS? For me, KBS is, it's just that if you want a good bourbon barrel coffee stout, like they age really well. We've had older ones before um, that have been cellared for a few years uh, and it definitely mellows out. But if you really like that boozy coffee, it's a great beer to have and it's a heck of a lot easier to get. So yeah. Yeah. true. Um, yeah, I would say, I, I mean, I really enjoy coffee stouts. I would say KBS, just depending on the year, um, it's probably like an A- minus beer for me. Because I really love that super bright, like, coffee and bourbon. How about you two? Yeah, I feel like when I cracked it open fresh when I got it, it had a whole lot more of a chocolate note to me. And that seemed to kind of have died off a little bit, which seemed a little contradictory. I thought more of the coffee notes were supposed to fade faster than the chocolate notes, but I still think it was a great beer. Can you, what, can you give it a letter grade? Well, I think I rated the last one at least on untapped. I still gave it a 5 out of 5. I would still give this you know, 5 out of 5. I'm putting it at an A. Okay. Tyler? Yeah, I'd probably put it at an A. I do like the older ones that have been sitting. I feel like they mellow out a little bit better. Mm -hmm. Obviously, I like the CVS better just because it is a little bit more mellow. But, like we said, it's easier to get. Yeah. And it, it is good. It's very good. All right. I think for me, it, it would be like a four and a half. I think CBS out of the gate, especially if you're comparing similar years, mm -hmm. is a really, like, already mellowed out 
uh, easier drinking beer personally. Yeah. Uh, but that being said, I like KBS is an awesome beer as well. I yeah. think uh, re availability plays into a big part of it, right? Like sometimes your perception of a beer just because it's hard to get yeah. is oh, it's going to be really good. With CBS, that's the case, right? But um, what would right. you give CBS? Now that we're on that topic, for me it's five out of five for sure. Um, I would say when we had the last version that came out, I think the one that the keg that I had 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 been aged for a little bit, and it was really good. And I would say this stands up to that really well. I'm interested to see how it will age over the next few years with the other bottles I have. So I would say it's an A to A plus beer for me. Probably the first. I think that's the first time I've said A plus on this channel, uh, but just because super flavorful, but it's also like attenuated at the same time. I mean, mm -hmm. you get the maple, you get the chocolate, you get coffee, you get a little bit of vanilla, yeah. uh, you get that bourbon barrel, and it's all the way that it kind of plays off of each other and it's just kind of smooth on the palate, transitions through all those flavors, makes it really drinkable for a 11.7% stout. So. How about you guys over there? What would you grade it? Dad, what go for? Probably an A+. Plus. <laughs> like you said, just really attenuated. Very drinkable. 11.7%. Cal? I mean, I, I can't go any higher than 5 out of 5 on untapped, but as of just comparing these two, I would say that the CBS was better than the KBS. So yeah. I would have to give it, if I gave KBS an A, I gotta give CBS an A+. Plus. So, <laughs> All right. Which is a lot to live up to for anything else that's going to come down the line. But <laughs> I think the really if, interesting... If I find one, I'm buying it. I think the interesting part about, like you, you mentioned, the attenuation. I know for me, uh, a lot of people really like the real chewy, thick, sweet Imperial Stouts. Uh, personally, I prefer stuff that is a little bit more attenuated, a little bit drier than that for... I, to me, they're more drinkable. Mm -hmm. yeah. But, I mean, that's the best part about beer is... Yeah. We, we all have our own preferences. So. We all have our own preferences, and so. we don't all have to like the same thing. True, but we can all appreciate it. Well, guys, if you can track other either of these beers down, uh, obviously highly recommended. A to A minus on one, A to A plus on the other. Uh, we give CBS the slight edge over KBS in our head to head. Uh, if you guys have had either of these beers lately, go ahead and comment down below. Let us know what you thought. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe, and until next time, guys, cheers. Cheers. We can remedy that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's about half.